Yeah, I think this is all default. Which is quite interesting because I swore that I had changed that. Oh my goodness, can you pop Q, please? Uh. These are the moments you want to slam your head against the wall just a little bit. Oh, we got four people. I'm also using Secret Buster title. That was another reason why damage was so low. My bad. Well, not low. My damage was normal. Alright, we got... I think that's all three of the most recent classes do come to Elsword in our party. It's great. Alright, so I know for a fact this is the basic music, so... Yeah, this is definitely not... So as you can see, three new classes, whole lot of damage. Wow. Especially when they hyperactive. So that's his hyperactive right there, the adds at Q. Um, after a certain amount of, after the allotted time, it actually explode, which is pretty neat. Little uh, trick that it does. Pretty sure I'm gonna get we're gonna get Oh god, I can't go through walls, that makes me so sad. Uh Um, apparently, someone cleared the map somehow earlier, so... Oh well. Now, for any of you guys that are wondering, I also do have an Alesis, and I have a Reckless, like a Reckless Fist Veteran Commander, Alesis, and a Elsword. As all my other characters. My lowest level character is level 50, but that's just, you know, whatever, that's housekeeping. Oh my god, the ping pong ball attack. Oh, I gotta grab that awakening potion. So you see what I mean about the awakening time? I'm currently awakening three. I already have enough charges for awake well, almost enough charges for awakening three again. I'm gonna use this, even though we're literally about to get awakening. Oh come on, Ad, there we go. And there's the hyperactive. It looks so pretty. Oh, that was wow, that was that funny. See what I mean about the awakening? And there it is. And I'm just gonna pop that off real quick and take 600 thou from his health. I think the door is bugged. Do we not? Oh, ha, ah, she's lagged. Also, on a different keyboard, it's like everything's shifted. Take it. Take it. 
Okay, so what that is, that is Ludo uh, mode. So what that does is it increases the drop rate, makes the mobs a lot harder to hit. Um, it doesn't really... Oh wow, as I'm now doing Z, 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 Z combos. Um, it doesn't really do much, especially since the, uh, the drop rate for everything was increased so much. Super armor OP. He lands. Go ahead and throw that out there. So you're probably wondering how I avoided that shadow step OP. Let's just put it that way. Oh my god. Ah, dragon at origin bottom piece to somebody. Which, by the way, getting the gear pieces saves so much time in crafting these because then you don't have to get the coins for them, etc., etc., etc. So it saves a lot. So getting a piece of gear is actually worth a lot of money on the uh, on the board. <laughs> clear, quick clear, thank you. Quick clear, thank you. And gear store repair. Uh, I always advise repairing your gear after every single run. Uh, what that'll do is it'll prevent you from doing less damage, it'll prevent you from having a giant repair bill later, it prevents you from just. Prevents you from dying too, because it makes you makes your gear more durable, or at least more dependable, because it'll actually give you the stats that you know that are on there. All in all, I just don't understand people who don't prepare after a dungeon. It just they just make no sense to me. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, so I also, as I said, I have to definitely uh, respec. So uh, what I just do is I usually put attack speed on my weapon just because it'll max out the attack speed, movement speed, jump speed for my character, and then I can just focus on my crit everywhere else. Um, you can, if you want, put maximum numbers of crit onto you, this right there. Uh, but what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm going to, because as I said, I have to fix my character. So what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to restat on attack speed, movement speed, jump speed into the fourth slot, which currently has an add damage socket in it. Uh, make sure that it's more so on the attack Jap, uh, move and jump speed uh, side of things. That way, then. That way, then. Uh, sorry, I was always saying. Uh, that way, then. Uh, I would not have to put. I had to invest two sets of stats into that. Actually, now I think I see why they changed it to one second, because then it gives you actually time, or it gives the skill time to actually finish, instead of it just continuously going. So instead of you stacking damage on damage on damage, I just realized there was still a mob alive up there, but whatever. So, yeah, so it gives you the... It actually gives the skill a second to finish, and that way then you're not 
just rambling through a bunch of additional hits that you really and truly should not be getting. I love this freaking Aura's lag. It's so beautiful. Talk about awakening charge for free, eh? By the way, if you didn't know, I am Canadian. This Aura's lag! Holy Jesus! Is it me? It should be. Oh, yeah, it is me. So apparently I have more moves he jumps with than her, but whatever. Maybe it is me. I it shouldn't be. I know for a fact last time Judy was definitely her. She froze on the screen and everyone else was still moving, so I know it was her. Uh, and you know what? I'm just gonna take it as that. My shifter is literally right in where my arm would be. Uh, I also sim race a lot, as you guys know from some of the other videos. Uh, so when I say shifter, it's not a guy from League of Legends. It's actually like a shifting tool that I have, or a shifting piece of equipment that I have. And as I said, I gotta figure out why I can't just double tap to go down through stuff anymore. Oh wow, I walked back into that. I always do that. Don't know why. But he'll throw out that stupid boomerang thing and I go out there and start hitting him. Like I'll go through him, pass him. I am for some reason not cute that that's gonna come back. Fever. By the way, when you run this game enough, you'll be able to predict uh, when the fevers will happen relatively. So you'll be able to uh, estimate your mana usage, like when you want to use up more, when you want to use less. Look at that, that's instant 400, I love that, I really do. I had to grab that real quick. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to... I need to get used to the computer and try and figure out why I can't press down. It ain't me. It is definitely the other chick. But again, as you can see, yep, just lost uh, Awakening 3, but look how many beads I got. Awakening charge a little bit, or awakening time a little bit. Oh. oh my goodness. Like, look at that clear right there. Namaki. 
Also, mana pots only give a hundred uh, mana, um, because of the guild skill and being a member and all this other stuff. Uh, guild passives activate, so I actually get 125. Uh, so this is one of the more active bosses where you actually have to go to the end of the map, etc, 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 to avoid his stupid flame breath. Oh, and I jumped too early. Then you jump back again. Just because of her lag, I don't even know what's going on 90% of the time, so I'm just gonna just hit skills and hope for the best. <laughs> Was not expecting him to be still alive anyway. Uh, yeah, so lag sucks. I'm just gonna point that out there. Um, as you can see, there's like three of us that are moving just fine. And then you have Mr. Kind Boy, so apparently it was Kind Boy who had lag. Because it's easy to eliminate who has lag from who doesn't just by looking at, you know, which characters are moving. That's the easiest way to say it. Um, if you're moving and the other two, two other characters beside you are moving just like normal, then it's probably the fourth person. If you're moving and everyone else is not, you're probably the one who's DC. It's not that you have perfect connection if the three don't. It's probably that you are the one with bad connection. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to quickly break the recording. That way then I can kind of, because what happened earlier actually made a lot of sense. That way then I can break it up into each dungeon run individually. So we had, first up was the Underground Laboratory. We just now did uh, Secret of the Bone Dragon, or brought Dragon's Nest, whatever. Um, and now we're going to go right on ahead and move into the Altira Dungeon, Type Age, one of the more fun bosses, at least I think so. Uh, so yeah, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 